Welcome back folks, my name is Last No Meal and today I want to talk about Cyberpunk 2077, about CDPR and about this community because I do believe this community is at a crossroads right now and we are divided like never before. And there is also a video I made a year back, maybe a little bit more, called Why Does the Gaming Community Respect CD Projekt Red, where I talk about the good things that CDPR did for the gaming community. And in these past couple of days, there was a lot of comments on that video where people are saying that, ah, oh, this aged well, this didn't age well, ah, oh, things have changed, haven't they? But honestly, when I look at the end of that video, I actually think this video aged really well and let me play you a portion of that video again. And I don't want this video to be only about praising them even though they do deserve it, there is also another side of the coin. Because being the good guy in the industry puts you in the spotlight. If you make one tiny mistake people will notice and you will get two times as much hate as another company that does it every week. So CDPR needs to be careful with what they do in the future. I did make one mistake though. The backlash is not two times bigger, the backlash is ten times bigger than I anticipated. And as I said, these past couple of days were absolute hell because I, I legit wanted to just, once the game is out, continue to cover cyberpunk content, have fun, interact with people and just enjoy this universe and this world. And it's sad to see that we came to this place right now, where we talk about investors, where we talk about stocks, where we talk about consoles, where, where we talk about frame rate and performance, which should not have happened. And the first time that I saw, like the first moment when I woke up after, because uh, I was someone who got the review copy for, for the game, who played the game, who enjoyed the game personally, I enjoyed the game. And who made a review of my impressions of the game. I didn't even score the game because I'm not a reviewer. I am not an influencer. I'm just someone who plays video games, who's excited about certain video games, and who makes videos around those games. That's what I do. I don't influence opinions. I don't tell people what to do. People can do whatever you want. Honestly. So, the base consoles come out, uh, the, the game for base consoles come out, and it's absolute, it's, it's chaos. The game is not running well, uh, people are getting glitchy textures, uh, people are getting bugs, game breaking bugs, their PC, uh, their PlayStation is crashing, their Xbox is all over the place. It's absolute chaos. And then I said, God damn it, CDPR. God damn it. Because when the trailers, or well, the gameplay trailers for a PlayStation and Xbox came out. They showed PlayStation 4 Pro and PlayStation 5, and they showed Xbox One X and Xbox Series X. Xbox One and PlayStation 4 were never shown. And even then I was like, okay, I get it. I get it that you want to show Xbox One X and Series X and PlayStation 5 and that, but where is the footage of the base consoles? We never got it. And then I said, God damn it, CDPR took the risk, a huge risk with this, of hiding it and not showing it at a proper time, and now it comes out, the game is crashing, the game is not running well, and there is backlash. It backfired. And I get it. There is, like, I, like, I cannot defend what happened with consoles and how CDPR handled um, the, the overall marketing for base consoles, because people were asking. I know people were asking about that, and the response they always got like, yeah, it's running fine, which obviously was not true. And now, they are suffering the backlash of that decision. But it's one thing to criticize a company, it's one thing to say, all right, you did this, you, pulled, you tried to pull off something, you got caught, this is what happened, these are the consequences. Those are the arguments and criticisms which should be, uh, which should be sent towards CDPR or CD Projekt in general. But what was happening is that community went berserk. 
you had people who had, a, I guess, good experience with the game, who played on PC or maybe next gen or something, or maybe they even played on base consoles, but they just had a good experience and they loved the game. Against the people who maybe didn't have it, who didn't have a good experience who had glitches and bugs and crashes and who didn't like the game. People who were expecting next GTA from this game, which was not the case. It was never the case that this is going to be the next GTA. And it created this war within the community, which is still raging today. Because every video I put out, everything I talk about, I can sneeze on Twitter and someone is going to remind me about the consoles, which I know about and which I criticized CDPR in the past videos, and I talked about. And it's bad. It is really, really, really bad. This is going to leave such a huge stain on CDPR that it's going to be very interesting to actually see how they regain this reputation. But I do believe in some instances people went over the top. Now, comparing this game to Fallout 76, in terms of bugs, yeah, you can compare this game to Fallout 76. In terms of story and what the game has to offer, comparing it this, comparing all of this to Fallout 76 is lazy. In my opinion, that's lazy. If you exclude the missions and quests and world building and characters and all of that and writing, it's not Fallout 76. In terms of bugs, yeah, absolutely, whatever. Yeah, yeah. And... Then, the hate that CDPR was getting, it also translated to us. Because we have been covering this game automatically, we are working together with CDPR on this. Uh, we are called CDPR fanboys, bootlickers, shills, uh, sellout, you know, classics. Um, and, I mean, I can understand when <clears throat> those comments from come from people, like, I get it, like, there's a lot of keyboard warriors out there who cannot say anything once they're outside, but when they're in front of their keyboard, they are the best, they are the strongest, whatever, um, so I, you know, I expect those comments, it's the internet, like, who cares, but I honestly didn't expect that, um, comments like those and just hating on CDPR fan, fans or fanboys, as they like to call us, just because we like the game, that was disappointing. I mean, not surprising, especially coming from certain journalists and producers. It wasn't, it wasn't surprising that um, if if we like the game or if we say anything good about the game, it's automatically wrong, and we are being paid by CDPR to talk about these these things, or we are being paid to hide these things. If you legit think we're being paid by CDPR to talk about Cyberpunk 2077, besides monetizing our videos then please give me the number of the person you are getting your stuff from so I can get it too, because I don't know what you're on if you actually think we're being paid to advertise this game. I wish life was that easy and money was just pouring from the sky like that. That would be beautiful. I would be able to buy 3080, but nah, life doesn't go that way. I talk about Cyberpunk 2077 and about this universe because I like talking about this universe. I like, I like talking about everything that this universe has. Not just from the video game perspective. And some people took it seriously, I get it. Um, okay, fair enough. But also keep in mind, I'm not the person in charge to make a decision if you're gonna buy this game or not. I shouldn't make a decision for you. Second of all, I'm not a reviewer. I'm not an influencer, even the review I have for Cyberpunk, I didn't rate it. I just said, these are my impressions of playing the game. You can watch it, don't watch it, you can maybe decide to buy the game off of this review. That's up to you, that's not up to me. It's your conscious decision to realize, okay, what reviews I'm going to watch, who am I going to believe and how am I going to spend my money. That's okay. There is nothing wrong with that. There is nothing wrong with making that decision. There is nothing wrong with criticizing CDPR. But once that criticism goes into actual hate, into actual hate towards developers who are not in charge of running the company, they work in that company, they utilize their technical and artistic knowledge to 
do tasks for the company, to be creative in that company. They don't make decisions around how the company does business. And it saddens me to see people from this community, and I know, I, I saw some of you, I remember some of you, attacking developers like that, sending actual death threats. I believe that's getting a little bit too emotional, okay? Because I do believe we can be normal and still discuss this issue, especially coming from someone who is a cyberpunk channel, but I'm not primarily a cyberpunk channel. I've been talking about cyberpunk a lot, but it doesn't stop me from talking about different games. If I can be reasonable about this, and if I can create some sort of a discussion, I believe everyone could. And I don't know why we are portrayed as the enemy here. I honestly, I'm honestly doing everything to fight for this community. Every time when there is a problem in this community, I try to help. Whoever approached me from this community and they asked for help, they want to do some project, they want to get involved in cyberpunk, I helped. And it's sad, it's sad to see that this community is dividing because of it. That all of a sudden CDPR is being compared to EA and Activision and Ubisoft when personally I don't think that's the case. I've been playing games from EA, from Ubisoft, from Activision. So sometimes I think maybe CDPR shouldn't be the good guy in the industry. <clears throat> maybe they should just be like everyone else because EA puts out the game, the game sucks, the game has glitches, the game has problems, whatever. And people tell them that. You suck. Blah blah blah, you can't make the game, your game sucks. And EA is like, well, I can't hear you from all this MTX money I'm getting. So it's different. I'm not going to compare them to EA. They're not EA. They're not. But this risk and this decision they took, oof, this was bad. And I can acknowledge that. There is nothing wrong with that. I want this company to be better. I want this company to do good. And I do believe in this company for the future, especially for the updates about Cyberpunk 2077. But I do also do understand why people are mad. Why people are angry. Why people want to say this was not right. Uh, this was deceiving. This was malicious, etc, etc. I do understand that there is nothing wrong with that. And I believe that this is going to be a giant test for this community. And I am keen on seeing how this community continues after this. And what happens after it. And just... It's been insane. It's actually been insane. And I, I don't know for how long this is going to continue. Probably until it's fixed. And until... At least the, the major flaws and bugs are, are ironed out. And that, that's a shame. Because there are so many things I, I still want to talk about for this game, about this universe and everything. And I'll get around it, don't worry. This is not going to stop me from making cyberpunk content and talking about the lore. And, and expressing my love towards this universe that was created in 1989. By Mike Pondsmith. This is not just CDPR. This is not just their universe. There are so many things to talk about this universe. Which exceeds fall, uh, Fallout. Uh, Cyberpunk 2077. And I don't know. So that was my opinion on the community. That was my opinion about. Everything which has been going on. There is one more thing also. There is one more thing. It's a shame. As I said. That some of these journalists and producers are calling people who talk about cyberpunk and who legit like this game. CDPR fanboys and shills and all of that. Especially coming from people who work in this industry. Who I thought, alright, I actually think thought these guys were normal. These people, not just guys. But in the end, it's not. And sometimes, I'm honestly really glad that I never got the chair... Because it seems to me, whoever got the chair, the cyberpunk chair, is being attacked by people, by certain people, and their opinion is not relevant anymore just because they have a chair. Give me a break. It's a piece of merchandise. Every company does that. To pretend that only CDPR does that? Come on. Come on. Let's be grown-ups here. 
So yeah, that that's it. Like that that's what I think about it. And I can I can be open with CDPR. And I, I'm gonna do everything I can to get everything that people have to say. All of the criticism and make sure that CDPR hears it. I'll make sure of it. And I and I know they know about it. They read your messages, they read everything, they read the comments. So I don't know. I don't know why there is such so much hate towards us. We're not in any collaboration with CDPR. I don't have a secret pipeline towards CDPR where we make evil plans about how to screw up people. That's not the case. That's absolutely not the case. So yeah, I don't want to go for too long. I'm going too long anyway. I'm just talking about irrelevant things. So yeah. That's what I think about this community right now. I'm still so goddamn proud to be a part of this community. And I'm proud of the people in this community because I do believe this is one of the hardest working communities out there. Of everything that people created before this game came out. And I still believe in this community. We'll see how it goes. And yeah, I don't know. Think whatever you want of me. Call me whatever you want. But ultimately... I'm not going to say what you want to hear. I'm going to say what I want to say. And it's always going to be like that. Because if I repeat what this guy said or what this guy said, I would be lying to you and that wouldn't be my opinion. And if I can have an honest opinion, I'm sure everyone else can. So, yeah. That's it. This is LKM signing out. Stay classy, everyone. And please, please don't threaten people over internet. It's It's... It's cringe, alright? Bye-bye.